Good evening, gentlemen. Here we are again. I have attached a different five and a quarter inch disc drive up to this thing. I've tried several drives, as you can see, uh, to image Apple II discs. Um, none of the Mitsubishi drives work. Uh, two of the TAC drives are broken, one of the double-sided double-density ones and the single high-density one. That uh, double-sided 80-track drive, that weird funny one, uh, doesn't seem to, uh, at least the, the grease weasel must not work right with it. That's my guess. And I've got one double-sided double-density 40-track drive that seems to be working. So let's take a disc. ADT Pro. Let's put it in this drive. Let's go over here and we can image the disk with this command line. It reads the disk with no errors. This is the only drive that will read these disks with no errors. I think it may have something to do with the pulse width uh, that the drive supports. The Mitsubishi drives must only support a fixed pulse width, where, whereas the TAC drives must support any old oh, pardon me, pulse width that you want to throw at them. Now, I will remove the ADT Pro disk, which we have just successfully imaged and I will insert a blank double-sided double-density disc because we do not want to accidentally erase my ADT Pro disc. And then, gentlemen, we will verify that the, uh, that the image that we just made works. I can boot it on, it starts on another monitor, but I can boot it on an Apple II emulator, this image that we just took from that uh, from that, uh, from that physical floppy there, uh, but when I try to write it back to the floppy that I've just inserted into the disk drive, I get an, a buffer underflow of some kind from the grease weasel. Uh, Googling around isn't revealing any Any, any clues, so if you guys have any clues, I'd really like to hear them because um, the whole reason for doing this is so that I can write the discs, not just so I can read them. I want to write disc images to physical discs that will boot on the Apple II so I can quit screwing around with serial cables and all of that crap. Alright, thanks for joining me. That's it for this evening. Goodbye.